Alright, we got some projects today. I am taking these apart, all of them. I'm going to weld, uh, or solder I mean, some heavy du heavier duty cables and some, uh, some balancing leads on these. They have some sort of circuitry in them that do self-balance somewhat, I don't know how well. Uh, I've taken this one apart here and checked the cells and they all seem to have been balanced fairly decently. So I'm going to take all of these apart. Oh, I need the ca counterbalance of the battery to stay up, but take all these apart, all 11 of them, and do that. And then I got this DeWalt 3 amp hour battery that uh, kind of works, but uh, it doesn't charge. It will run tools until it goes dead, but it doesn't charge properly, so I'm going to be taking that apart as well. And I'll update you guys as I go. So I have all the packs taken apart. My one big pack, I have 11 of these. This is the one I've taken apart before to check the balancing. Just put it together with tape and now it looks like crap, but it doesn't matter. It still works the same. Time to put uh, some balance leads in these things. and They look like they're still in good shape. There's no bulging of these things, so... Awesome, on to the next step. So I just found something disappointing out. These LiPo bricks are not made equally. This one, full of batteries. All battery, nothing else. This one, on this side, and on this side, they filled it with a sponge material because they are smaller cells. That's unfortunate. But these, I believe, are the ones they sent me for warranty's sake. Uh, so they cheaped out and they sent smaller cells in the same case. Interesting. Well this is quite disappointing. These are both, so these ones, this is the first batch that I bought and these are good. These ones are, the cells are the full length of the case. Then I went to another supplier and tried uh, buying one of their cells and they stack there's about this much foam in the bottom and then the foam all around the edges so these are these aren't okay so these are rated at 9800 milliamps which they're not that's a false advertisement but then the, these ones are even worse these ones are those those 6800 milliamp hour packs that they put into this 9800 mill uh uh, milliamp hour pack and then sell it as a 9,800 and look at the size difference like that's that's terrible a little pissed off I'm gonna complain to this company and the thing is that's half my batteries are these and half are these so if I ever buy more I'm buying from the first company I bought from so here are the two different types of batteries you can get paying the same price these are I got two like this, these are nice big full cells and the re rest of them are like, a bunch of them are like this, they have this little space in between, they're a bit smaller the cells but still not too bad. And then you get these ones, right here. I got, uh, let's see, I got four of these types, four batteries out of 11 I have four like this. Look at how small these are in comparison, like it's ridiculous. I'm gonna try and complain and see what happens, see what I can get out of these. I think it's too late, I've had them for too long, but uh, yeah, kind of unfortunate. I didn't open these up sooner. I found what a huge difference in size. Here's the rest that I got so far over there. I got two more to go. And I got my little girl with me. Summer, hey. <gasps> Hi. Okay, well, I'll update you guys as I go. Alright, so I'm uh, on to the soldering stage with my mediocre at best soldering job. And this is how I'm doing it. I still have to solder on the, ba the thinner balance leads. I got all these crappier, smaller packs done. Now moving on to these bigger packs. They are actually totally single. I could take them apart, but uh, I kind of like them together like this. 
of all those still to do, and this is my little soldering station. So I seem to have tackled a little bit bigger of a project than I thought, especially with all these close connections. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put uh, insulation tape or hot glue. I might just hot glue all in between here. Not exactly sure how I'm gonna keep these uh, apart. It's a big mess. I'm only halfway through doing the balance, balance leads on this smaller, these smaller packs. And I got these bigger packs. These should be easier because they are bigger and further apart. And I don't have these, these ones I had to put these, uh, these little wire crosses apart. Where these ones here, I was able to take the cell packs completely apart and turn them around to get them in a way that makes it easier for me to, uh, to, uh, make the packs. And yeah, it's coming together. Taking a lot longer than I thought, but it's still coming together. So I have my first of the many packs that I gotta finish. This is only four of those packs put together. Balance leads are done. I uh, have lots of wire coming off for uh, low drop, uh, voltage drop in the wire. I got a 300 watt halogen bulb. Let's see here. 310 watts it says. 11.1 volts. These are fully charged. I'm just uh, trying to feel if the cells are getting hot or not. Don't want them to get hot at all, obviously. They seem okay so far. They're holding at about 11 volts. These here, these alligator cl clamps are getting a little warm. Just this one, actually. Maybe I'll get that on better. But I'm gonna run this down to whenever this inverter shuts off, about 10.5 volts. And then I'm gonna charge with uh, my IMAX B6 and uh, see how well I put this pack together. And then I'm gonna hot glue the top. Make sure all the connections are far away from each other. I'm gonna hot glue the top. So I ran the, the pack down till it started beeping. It was 12.6 or 10.6 volts. Now I got, let's see if I can zoom in here. These are each cell. I just put started the charge, like I just put this on. And that's the individual cells. Oops. What is this? Come on, get me back. Oops, now I gotta start the charge again. So there's the cells there. I think it just it goes back after a while. But, success for so far, I ran 30 amps off four of the, those packs and these are the smaller cells out of the bunch that I got. These are the smallest ones. There's only four uh, series, so there's three cells series, four packs total, so then that's four three cell packs in parallel. So four parallel cells and uh, three cells uh, series. And uh, it's charging. Let's see if, what happens if I hit start again. Still gotta figure this stupid thing out. There we go. Four amps going into it. 12.3 volts ish, approximately. All right. On to the next ones. Over here. Got the hot glue going. Getting ready to uh, finish it off. So, this is the little pack here. Again, glue is now hard on top. It is almost fully charged. Let's see if I can zoom in here so you guys can see. There we go. Zoomed in here. I restarted this because I was charging it 
and then uh, I decided to put the hot glue on there just in case I bumped it so nothing now nothing moves on top I'm not so scared of it uh, um, shorting out I'm gonna put some more glue I'm gonna pretty much make this a solid sheet of glue and this one I just finished now I'm starting the gluing portion this one's much neater um, it was much easier to do this pack because I was able to separate the cells uh, the other one I was not it, they're all glued together uh, I ran a positive and negative from every um, every battery pack which is three cells so I could get maximum performance uh, for surge loads and whatnot and all these wires will be put in parallel all the batteries are in parallel anyways from the uh, the balance leads so all the ba all the batteries are in parallel but uh, this will just parallel them so that there's no actual current flowing through these little balance leads as I'm drawing current from it. The only time there'll be uh, any current running out of them is or running through them is when uh, the balance lead is in use. Um, what else? I'm going to make a, a wire coming off this going to that because I want them both to be balanced together that pack and this pack so I still gotta do that uh, I'm just gonna I have uh, pins here where I can just plug in. So maybe I'll put one of these plug-in pins on the side of uh, this battery here. Just this separate, uh, just the end. I have to solder some wires onto it. And that'll be that. And uh, now there's no electronics or anything to uh, uh, slow any current coming out of these batteries. I have to be more careful. I'm only ever going to pull a maximum of about, let's see here, they could, they're they doing about 4 amps each, I have 11 of them, so I should be able to do about 44 amps, but I'll be pulling more like 60 to 70 amps, so it'll be like, uh, I don't know, like a 1.3, 1.5C uh, pull out of these, so that should be fine, should never have any problems with that, and uh, next thing you'll see is the finished product. So we're all together. We got this is uh, under charge. This is the full pack, and this is everything connected. I made this uh, connector here. Let's see, it's one connector. The other one's down there. Maybe you'll see it if I can zoom in here. The other connector is down there, and they come. I soldered this connection right here and covered it in electrical tape, and then it goes into here. So what I have now, these two are always live, these two cables, got to figure out another way not just clamping onto this piece of wood, but another way of protecting these from shorting out. I can use this under charge or not. Now I can use the full potential of this inverter. I can use the full 600 watts for quite a while before uh, I have any issues with uh, low battery voltage before I could only use uh, 600 watts for a split second. Uh, I could only use about uh, 500 watts uh, continuous for more than like a minute. And that was about it. And then uh, anything under that like 400, 300 watts I can run for a long time. But I like this setup much better. I want to note though these batteries, there's something in them, this thing right here, they all have this, right here. Each cell has one of these, and I want to note that all my cells, I had 11 of these, they're all balanced. So the, that myth or whatever on uh, YouTube that these blue LiPo batteries, which I took apart, are not balanced, that's a pile of crap because I have cycled these things at least 20, maybe 30 times, and they're all within 0 .0, uh, 2 or 3 volts. That was like the biggest difference. And look at this. This is the first. This is the first charge of this whole pack together. It's the second charge of that little pack. The first charge of this big pack. And look how close the cells are. 
I just stick this on charge. I don't know why this won't adjust here. Maybe you guys can see it, I don't know. They're all within 0 0.01 of a volt of each other. Now I'm going to have to do a, a load test once this is charged. So I got it inside and it's charging. It's really messy looking because the wire is all around all on top. I'm sitting at 12.2 volts under charge. I have this cranked way up because the lines are so thin. There's a lot of loss in the lines. Sometimes the lines get a little bit warm. Right now I'm using the IMAX to charge this one, which I I uh, put the same load on this tiny little battery as I did this one just to compare it to see what this could output how long it would output at uh, 30 amps and uh, I only got a amp and a half out of that and then out of the small the small one on this side I got uh, five and a half amp hours at the same load and the big one was quite a bit more like triple that so I'm gonna have to do the same uh, load test after I'm all done so it's almost charged. The last 0 0.01 volts to be put into the battery. Of course, this is under load. I have this one uh, assisting because it's such a big battery bank. I'm uh, very curious to see what I can pull out of it now. <clears throat> and I will be running my computer, uh, the monitor, and it's a uh, Alienware. So it takes quite a bit of power. Should be able to run it for about four or five hours. And uh, I'm excited to see the new performance of this uh, pack. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Of course not. Okay, anyways, almost completely charged. Alright, I've gone into my discharge cycle. I've used almost 4 amp hours of electricity. Um, it only says I'm using around 3 amp hours at the moment, but when I game it goes up to 10. So it's a fairly quick uh, discharge. It's a big mess in here right now. There's extra wires on top and whatnot, but uh, uh, there's the balance lead right there. All the batteries are underneath. It's hard to see everything. Everything is soldered together and either taped or uh, on the tops of the batteries I hot glued it. Uh, holding at 12.1 on there. Down here is 12.17. And so far so good. This should last for another uh, about 30 amp hours. Just over 9 amp hours used sitting just under 12 volts. This pack is doing uh, really well for me. I have a lot of wires in here because each uh, set of three cells, which is three cell series, and then the rest of them are all paralleled together. They all have their own separate wires coming off of them, and then I paralleled those wires coming off to get more uh, current in one shot out of them and it seems to be working quite nicely I still have to do uh... alright so I got pack in action I got charging my DeWalt charger for these batteries so far what I do now twenty one and a half amp hours got plenty of power to go it's fully charged right now, that's why it's not pulling much power when it's charging, it takes about 8 amps. I'm using it for all my tools. Thanks for watching.